Welcome to Wild Sport News, where being a good sport is good news. This month, we're talking about kindness. That's right, we're being kind to others because God is kind to you is our theme this week. Let's turn it over to the Wild Band as they sing the discipleship rap. Take it away, guys. To be disciples of me By this my father is glorified That you bear much fruit, much fruit. So you will prove prove to be disciples of me Everyone will know That you're my chosen disciples If you will love one love If you You bear much fruit, much fruit. So you will prove to be disciples of me. By this my father is glorified. That you bear much fruit, much fruit. So you will prove to be disciples of me. I call you friends. Hey friends, how you doing? To be disciples of me By this my father is glorified That you bear much fruit, much fruit So you will prove pro- pro- to be disciples of me Eternal life Is yours if you believe in me Go and bear fruit what? Fruit To be disciples of me By this my father is glorified That you bear much fruit, much fruit So you will prove to be disciples of me Hey everybody, it's me, Superfan Jason, and I am so excited because it's game day! Please do pardon my exuberance, but I tend to get a little over the top when I talk about game day! Skull! 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 Not that you have to be a Vikings fan to be a member, but it's strongly encouraged. <laughs> You see, being a fan is important to me because it's the perfect way to show your favorite team kindness. Kindness is showing others they're valuable by how you treat them. Being a super fan is how I show my team what they mean to me because they bring me so much excitement and joy every time they win that I feel like I'm gonna burst. And even when, as often, they don't win, they're still so much fun to watch. And that's why I cheer so loud. It's why I put on this crazy hat, this shirt, and this foam finger and make a fool of myself. But kindness is bigger than just being a fan of a sports team. We should be kind to everyone. We should be fans of the people we see every single day. Woohoo! Yeah! Go ordinary people! Way to be normal! Yes! But everyday people don't always fill me with excitement and joy. They're not always fun to watch either. And so, why should I be a fan of everyday people? Is there even a point to kindness? (laughs) Of course there is. And you'll find out why in today's story. Hey friends, don't forget to download the at-home guide for your family to continue the conversation after WOW today. Welcome to my music room. This is where the magic happens. We've got a brand new memory verse written just for you. Colossians 3.12 teaches us that God loves us so much and that we can reflect that love out into the world in the way that we treat others. Let's learn it together. 
Here's how it goes. Hey everyone, this month is all about kindness. Kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. You know, it's really important for us to show kindness to the people all around us, everybody. But I realize that's not always easy to do in practice, right? And so it helps if we can remember where our kindness comes from in the first place. Today we'll dig into a few stories that show you what that might look like. So see if this situation sounds familiar to you. So maybe you play a sport like mm, soccer, right? And maybe there's a kid on your team that is always really mean to you. Hey, pass it over here, foam finger. Blah. Hey there, foam head. Why are you doing so foamy? Whoa, that wasn't nice at all, Mr. Foam Finger. And by the way, aren't you made of foam anyway? Now, has that ever happened to you? Has anyone ever made you feel bad while you were playing a sport? How do you think I felt when Mr. Foam Finger said that to me? Do you think I wanted to be kind right back? Oh, and by the way, Mr. Foam Finger, it's soccer. No hands. Or how about this situation? What if you're hanging out with some of your friends in your neighborhood or apartment complex, and then one kid comes out of nowhere and says they want to hang out with someone else instead of you? Hey, I want to hang out with somebody else instead of you, foam head. <gasps> <laughs> Ugh, seriously, foam finger, come on. It, and might I remind you, you are also made of foam. <laughs> Uh, well, I would be really upset if someone didn't want to hang out, well, with me. And especially if they thought there was something wrong with me. It would be hard for me then to show them kindness. <laughs> or how about one more example? It could even be like your little brother or sister who just seems to bug you all the time. Hey. Hey. Hey there. What? Hey there. What? Uh, you're a face too. <laughs> you're a foam face. Might I also remind you that you are made of foam? Okay. Known as a foam face. That is just rude. It seems like it would be really difficult sometimes for you or for somebody else to be kind to this little brother or sister. Well, or in any of the situations we just talked about. It would be so easy for us to say something mean back, would it not? But maybe it would help if we think about where kindness really comes from. Have you thought about that? <laughs> well, why be kind? Well, we know what kindness looks like because we know how God has been kind to us. Take a look at what the Apostle Paul wrote in the book of Ephesians. This was part of a letter that Paul wrote to the people in a church in the town of Ephesus. Say Ephesus. That's right. All right. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Let's read it. Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another, just as God forgave you because of what Christ 
has done. All right, let's see if our foam finger friend here can give that a try. Take it away. <coughs> okay. Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. Nice job. You see, even the foam finger can do it. You see, Paul wanted the Ephesians to remember the amazing example of kindness we have in Jesus. God loves us so much that he sent Jesus for us. He died on the cross so that we could be forgiven for the things we've done wrong. He showed once and for all how valuable we are to him. He gave us the greatest example of kindness the world has ever known. And because of that, we should be kind to one another. We should follow God's example that he gave us in Jesus. Now, there's lots of ways that we can show kindness. There's lots of ways that we can show kindness to one another. Now, remember back to our soccer example? Now, remember when Mr. Foamfinger was mean to his other teammate? Now, I could have been mean right back to him, but what if I reminded him, hey, Mr. Foamfinger, we're teammates. We're on the same side. And instead of trading an insult, instead I traded a high five. That's one way to show kindness. Or how about this? Remember back in the neighborhood when your friend was mean to you? Well, instead of being mean back, maybe you can ask for a clarification because maybe it was a misunderstanding. And instead of trading insults again, you can trade a fist bump. And finally, <laughs> let's revisit that situation with our little brother or little sister. Instead of getting mad at them, maybe we can stop what we're doing and ask them what they would like to do. Then they'll stop pestering you and get this, you might even have some fun while you're doing it, right? Anything's possible. You see, you can be a kindness super fan. You can show others that they are valuable when you treat them the way you want to be treated. And I know that's not always easy, but you can make the first move when you choose to be kind. Now, let's give our foam friends a hand for giving us such great examples. So it was pretty silly to act out those scenarios with foam fingers, right? But I bet all of you have been in situations before when it was really hard to be kind to someone. And it's important then to remember that you don't have to let someone be mean to you after all. If you do have a problem with someone that's not getting better, well, you can always ask an adult for help because you can't control how someone else will act, but you can control how you act. And instead of acting the same way back, you can decide to show kindness. It all starts when you remember why you should be kind in the first place. Be kind to others because God is kind to you. When you don't feel like being kind, you can ask God for help. Think about how kind God was to you when he sent Jesus for you. That will help you to remember to show kindness, even when it's difficult. Let's ask God for help right now. Would you pray with me? Dear God, Thank you for this important reminder of why we should treat others with kindness. You showed kindness to us when you sent Jesus to be our Savior. And so please help us follow your example and show your love to the people around us and help us use our words and actions to show them how valuable they are, even when it's difficult. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Everybody agreed and said, Amen. Hey Jason, thanks for that great reminder to be kind to others. That is a that is a good word. Hey families, it's just so good to be worshiping with you. I know we're all longing to be together again, and and we will. We we are planning on it, making plans to gather when it's good and safe uh, to do so. But in the meantime, as you may know, we're in the midst of the Get It Done Capital campaign, and the the goal is to complete the chapel and to move this online experience of WOW worship to our on-site experience of WOW worship. Wow, I know, right? That's gonna be so amazing. I'm, I'm so excited about that. Well, the ongoing mission uh, family ministry through Prince of Peace Lutheran Church is completely dependent upon our shared generosity. 
uh, our response of gratitude, uh, kindness together through our offerings is a missional response to the blessings that we've first been given through God's generosity and kindness to us. What we do here together matters everywhere for all people. You should have received a pledge card in the mail. If you haven't, you can request one by either calling the church or going online to the website indicated below, and you can fill one out there. Friends, let me challenge and encourage you to be part of this response of kindness and gratitude for all that God is doing through us as we return our pledges by February 7th. So thank you for your generosity. Thanks for your love, your support. Thanks for investing in our future together as families at Prince of Peace. Let's pray. God, you gave us the ultimate example of kindness by sending Jesus so we would know just how very much we are loved and to model what kindness can look like in our lives. We confess that we aren't always kind to others. Help us to live out the kindness we've been given by you. Help us to follow the example Jesus gave us. Help us to be kind even when it's hard. We love you. Thank you for loving us. Amen. Well, there you have it. Another version of WOW Sports News, where being a good sport is good news. And take some time this week to make sure you cheer one another on, because kindness is showing others how valuable they are by how you treat them. Make it a great week. See you next week. Thank you.